The world's hottest years ever recorded were all during the past decade, reflecting the longer-term warming trend driven by greenhouse gas emissions. But brace yourself, climate models suggest that 2023 and 2024 are going to be the warmest years ever recorded so far. The world is heading towards the return of El Nino, a phenomenon that drastically alters weather patterns across the planet. Scientists say this phenomenon, coupled with the growing climate crisis, is likely to push global temperatures off the chart. When this happens, countries such as the US, Australia, and Indonesia will experience drastic effects, from searing heat waves, wildfires, to outbreaks of diseases. In today's video, we will explore everything you need to know about the upcoming warm years, and how to prepare for it. Before we get started, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and leave a comment as it's the best way to help us grow as a channel. Every two to seven years, the equatorial Pacific Ocean gets up to three degrees Celsius warmer or colder than usual, triggering a cascade of effects felt around the world. This is known as the El Niño-La Niña phenomenon, and this global phenomenon is the biggest cause of year-to-year -year differences in weather in many regions. During La Niña, the east-to-west Pacific trade winds are stronger, pushing warm surface waters to the west and drawing up deeper, cooler water in the east. During El Niño, winds blowing west along the equator slow down and warm water is pushed east creating warmer surface ocean temperatures, leading to a rise in overall global temperatures. During El Nino, the ocean transfers some of that excess heat and moisture to the atmosphere, as when you cook pasta and your kitchen gets steamy. As El Nino pushes warm water in the Pacific Ocean eastwards, it produces drier and warmer weather in northern U.S. and intense rainfall and flooding in the U.S. Gulf Coast and Southeast. In Europe, it can lead to colder, drier winters in the north, and wetter winters in the south. On top of the global warming trend, a strong El Nino can add up to 0.2 degrees Celsius to the average temperature of the Earth. This could mean breaking the crucial 1.5 degrees Celsius global warming limit. As a result, the world will face more intense heat waves, prolonged hot seasons and more powerful storms. Since the planet has already warmed by around 1.2 degrees Celsius relative to pre-industrial times, and El Nino adds some extra heat to the atmosphere, it is highly possible that Earth's rising temperature will temporarily exceed the 1.5 degrees Celsius threshold sometime after the peak of the El Nino in 2024, though it is too early to know how strong this next event will be. The world's hottest year on record so far was 2016, coinciding with a strong El Nino, although climate change has fueled extreme temperatures even in years without the phenomenon. 2022 was the fifth warmest year on record. Europe experienced its hottest summer on record in 2022, while climate change fueled extreme rain caused disastrous flooding in Pakistan, and in February, Antarctic sea ice levels hit a record low. Despite most of the world's major emitters pledging to eventually slash their net emissions to zero, global carbon dioxide emissions last year continued to rise. A total of 41 billion tons of carbon dioxide were released into the atmosphere in 2022, with 37 billion tons from burning fossil fuels and 4 billion tons from uses of land like deforestation. Emissions from burning coal increased, as countries turned to the most polluting fossil fuel after natural gas supplies from Russia were restricted due to the invasion of Ukraine in February. 2022's increase was mainly driven by higher oil use in transport, particularly aviation, as economies continue to reopen from lockdowns during the COVID-19 pandemic. El Nino fueled temperatures could worsen the climate change impacts countries are already experiencing, including severe heat waves, droughts, and wildfires. Climate models suggest a return to El Nino conditions in the late boreal summer, and the possibility of a strong El Nino developing towards the end of the year. In December, 
The U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration rated the odds of an El Nino forming by August or October as 66 percent, exacerbating extreme weather around the globe and making it very likely that the world will exceed 1.5 degrees Celsius of warming. But El Nino occurs during the Northern Hemisphere winter and its heating effect takes months to be felt, meaning 2024 is much more likely to set a new global temperature record. The El Nino climatic event could have drastic effects from searing heat waves to stronger storms. The correlation between extreme weather and global mean temperature is not that strong, but the thermodynamic effects of climate change are going to make the anomalies we get from an El Nino year just that more extreme. As the globe heats up, some regions are warming up faster than others. Australia is a good example of this. The country will experience hotter and drier conditions, with intensified droughts and wildfires. Australia is 1.4 degrees Celsius hotter now than in the early 20th century. Every year, the area of the continent scorched by wildfires increases, fueled by a dry trend induced by climate change. But Australia has had three years of above-average rainfall due to prolonged La Nina conditions that brought severe floods especially in the east. During the upcoming El Nino event, scientists expect the opposite, less rain, higher temperatures, and increased fire risk, especially during winter and spring in the southern hemisphere. The underlying influence of climate change makes Australia extremely vulnerable to the effects of an El Nino. Colombia is another country that is at high risk. During El Nino events, the fall in precipitation and rise in temperature has been linked to outbreaks of diseases spread by insects, such as malaria and dengue fever. Higher temperatures during this time boost the rates at which mosquitoes breed and bite. Elsewhere during an El Nino, the Amazon rainforest dries, and vegetation growth slows so that less carbon dioxide is absorbed from the atmosphere, a trend repeated in the tropical forests of Africa, India and Australia. India's monsoons and rains in southern Africa can also be suppressed. Other regions, such as East Africa and the southern US, both of which have suffered severe recent droughts, can get more rain and flooding. The effects of El Nino could also be felt as far as the northern hemisphere mid-latitudes, with the likelihood of wetter conditions in Spain from summer onwards, and drier conditions on the eastern seaboard of the U.S. in the following winter and spring. The largest effect could be observed in northern Europe, where winters become drier and colder. A frosty winter season in 2023 and 2024 is likely if El Nino ramps up sufficiently by then. As a result of global warming, Scientists expect El Nino's influence over the North Atlantic and Northern European winter will strengthen. Aside from causing drastic changes in weather, El Nino also endangers marine life along the Pacific coast. In normal conditions, a phenomenon known as upwelling brings cool, nutrient-rich water up from the ocean depths. But when El Nino occurs, this process is suppressed or halted completely. This means fewer phytoplankton along the coast, resulting in less food for certain fish. Warmer water also causes bleaching in coral reefs, leaving them at greater risk of starvation. Understanding the intricacies of the climate system is similar to trying to assemble a big jigsaw puzzle. The oceans talk to each other and to the atmosphere, which at the same time feeds back to the ocean. Scientists are still unsure how El Nino will behave in the future, but its effects will probably be amplified by climate change in different regions of the world. Science can now tell us when events like these are coming months ahead, so we really do need to use it and be more prepared, from having readiness of emergency services, right down to what crops to plant. The biggest unanswered question so far is whether climate change favors more El Nino or more La Nina events. Knowing the answer to this is crucially important for countries looking at long-term adaptation. Finding an accurate answer requires much higher resolution climate models, which means that it can only come about with bigger computers and technological advancements. 
What are your thoughts on the world warming up faster than average? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.